So now let's go ahead and take advantage of this setting to kind of tidy up our debug console. So let's first address that button. So go over to navigation.php and above the button here, let's make a PHP tag and do if debug is equal to one. So if it's on in our curly bracket, get rid of the closing curly bracket and close your PHP and then start some PHP down here. Put that closing curly bracket back in. Close your PHP. So now this button will only show up if the setting in the database says that debugging is on. So let's save this and test it out. Refresh our page. And there's our button. So let's come back over to the database here and let's edit that setting and we'll change the value to zero. Click go, hop back over to our page, refresh, and we don't have a button. However, if we view the page source, we still have our debug console being loaded here. So we want to get rid of that too. So we just need to run this same if down here on the index page where the debug console is being created. So above that debug console div, do PHP if debug is equal to one, then our curly bracket, get rid of that closing one, close the PHP. down here and put the closing curly bracket in. There you go. So let's go ahead and test this. Save that. Refresh the page. And we don't have a button. And let's go ahead and view source and make sure that our console is gone. And it is. So there, we're, we're saving resources there. Um, and this isn't a huge deal right now. But as the site gets a little bigger and bulkier, um, every little bit counts. So turning that on and off is, is good. And let's just uh, further clean this up a little bit. And uh, I want to consider this debug console, uh, we'll call this a widget. So let's go ahead and right click on Atom CMS, do new folder, and we'll call this folder widgets. And inside there, we'll create a file to hold this debug console. So right click on widgets folder, new file, and we'll just call this debug.php. And let's hop over to index, and we're going to take out the HTML portion of this, and we're going to leave the if statement. So cut this, paste it over in debug.php. Save that. Go back over to index. And we can go ahead and tidy this up here and put it all in one line. And we're just going to run an include instead. And we just need the path to it. So it's widgets slash debug.php. And then we need to close that statement. There you go. So everything's getting cleaned up again. So I'll save that. Really quick, I want to show you what else we could actually add to this debugger. So one function we can run is what's called the get define variables function. So let's come up here and make some PHP tags. And we're going to create an array that holds all of the variables that have been created on the page so far. And we'll give this a name and we'll just call this all underscore vars equals and we need to run this function get defined vars 
And uh, we don't need a parameter for that. So we just need to close that statement. And uh, because of how the pre-tag handles stuff, I'm going to go ahead and bump this print R back to the beginning here. And let's do another print R. So print underscore R. And then inside of here, we want to see everything inside of all vars. Close that. Save this. And before we run this, we need to go ahead and turn that setting back on. So go back over to PHP My Admin, click on Edit for Debug Status, and change this to 1. Click Go. And refresh. We got our button back. Let's click the button. And there, now we're seeing a lot of values here. And we're going to see some duplicates in here as well. So these are all the defined variables. And then down here, you'll see our uh, page array. So what we could do, because this is really hard to uh, kind of decipher what's going on here, could actually put these in their own PHP tags. And furthermore, actually in their own pre-tag. and then separate them with uh, heading tags. So we could do like a h1 all variables and then down here h1 page array. Go ahead and save that. Refresh. And there, now we have it kind of divvied up. But what I realized is uh, <laughs> we, uh, we need to adjust our CSS because now that we're using more than one pre-tag, it's creating scroll bars for each one of these. So let's hop back over to our CSS.php and for this overflow Y scroll cut this out and paste it inside the debug console so we want that whole div to scroll not just the pre-tags independently so save that refresh there you go now actually on top of that we want to adjust this we want to get rid of the height on our pre-tag as well so on line 59, get rid of that, save, refresh. There. Now we don't have really any styling to our uh, div there. There's no background. So we're seeing the page show through it. So we could further style this. And let's go ahead and give this a background color. And we'll just make it white. So, hashtag 6Fs. Save that. Go ahead and refresh. Take a look. So, now it's not see through, and that helps. Um, we could do one step further here, and uh, let's go ahead and give it a drop shadow uh, and introduce a little bit of CSS3 here. So we'll do box-shadow, and we need to give this a couple parameters. The first two is the distance, and we'll make this pretty simple. We'll do try two pixels. 
two pixels. Then this is the, the next parameter is the blur amount. And let's try five pixels. And uh, then we need to tell it what color to make the drop shadow. And we'll make it a kind of light gray. Save that. Refresh. There, now we have a nice little drop shadow there. So then, really quick, let's hop back over to our debug.php. I wanted to show you the all variables one, um, but this can be a little cumbersome, so you can choose whether you want that one or not. So I'm going to go ahead and comment this out. And uh, just place it up here. Out of the way. Um, many times I like to kind of do this in my own fashion. So rather than all variables, one thing that I'm going to want to know is the get array. So we'll call this git. And I'll just make a copy of this uh, print r here. Paste that in our pre tag. Change page to dollar sign underscore git. So this is going to look at the git array. Save this. Refresh our page. There. So right now our git array only has one value. And that is uh, page is equal to 2. And let's go ahead and inside here, let's copy this whole chunk. And we're going to put in post. And we'll, we'll get to post later. This is mostly going to have to do with uh, forms. So save. So if we refresh this, it's going to be empty. So it's an empty array. So that's a nice little uh, easy debug tool. And, uh, and I recommend uh, messing with this all vars and, and kind of browsing through. You'll see all of these parameters that are being set, uh, the ones that you've created and then the ones that PHP has already created. And uh, there's some pretty cool stuff in there, and, and you have access to all of those things.